Okay, sorry for the technical difficulties. That's Bobby the painter. Brian Green, starting center. We will start over. Um, please let the Coog fans know your favorite ice cream. Mint chocolate chip. Good. That's that's mine also. Um, surfing, water skiing, or snowboarding? Snowboarding. Mm. What is your favorite play you have made in your career? I think that one when we just we ran a versus Oregon State, which fell up the middle. Probably wasn't my best play, but it was a pretty exhilarating just to watch that go to the house. All right, all right, that was a good one. Um, does a straw have one hole or two? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's a brain buster right there. You're gonna go with one hole but two ends. <laughs> like it. What's the worst thing in your fridge? Worst thing. There's a barbecue stain from one of my old roommates, Abraham Lucas. So <laughs> that has been there for longer than I'd like to admit. <laughs> Would you rather sew all your own clothes or grow all your own food? Sew all my own clothes. Yeah. I don't think I could grow my own food. A couple crazy. thimbles. A couple food. thimbles needed. Um, who on the football roster would win a home run derby? Um, anybody's good at baseball. I mean, I'd have to say me because of the name, but I probably I think Ben Wilson was pretty good uh, in high school. Oh, Ben Wilson good swings a big stick, I heard. All right. Yeah. Um, if you had to explore one continent for a month, which continent would you choose? I think Europe. I just enjoy the history of it. So mm. I am a history major, so mm. a lot of stuff I'd like to hit over there. In and out, what a burger or five guys. Ooh. Who do I want to make mad? <laughs> I'm going to go in and out. Okay. Um, greatest rapper of all time. Mm. Go Tupac. All right. And. Maybe you could talk about your journey from being a walk-on in 17 to becoming a starter and a major contributor to this this uh, this team. So we're going from water to <laughs> to that, all right. Yeah, um, I don't know, it was a long, long journey. Uh, a lot of change-up, a lot of really hard work, Stick sticking with a lot of the guys that I'm very close with at this point. Um, obviously, really love this team and this university, so just kind of giving my all for – Everyone that's on this roster right now and the Coop fans just to contribute and get to where I am today has been a long journey and glad it happened now it did. Good answer. What do you think that has taught you about your about life? Be persistent. Persistency is key. You know, there's lots of lots of points where I you know, you think about quitting or I'm not gonna make it or you're not gonna achieve your goals, but in the long run, if you just stay persistent at it and keep working really hard, you eventually achieve your goals. That's it. Beautiful. All right, let's see what the professionals want to say. Any of you guys have a question? Coach, you are a professional. <laughs> what you major in college? Economics. Ah. I'm Aquarius. That's the water bear. Hmm. Uh, looks like uh, Theo Lawson. Please. Grace us hey, Brian. <laughs> hey, Brian. How's it going? Good. What is it? Uh, what does it mean to have the, the con uh, continuity on the offensive line, losing just one starter, and bringing back a lot of guys who have played a lot of uh, college football games this fall? Yeah, I mean, kind of how when I was getting um, thrown into the lineup last year, we had a lot of really great guys that played a lot of football. So now, instead of having to replace two guys, we're just replacing one, and we have a lot of really great candidates, a lot of old, experienced guys, and a lot of young guys that are significantly more talented than we were at our ages. So I'm really excited just to see how this O-line keeps progressing. Um, it's been really fun for through these five practices, just seeing all the people mingle at right guard and through all the shifting that uh, Coach Weber does with our O-line. What's the significance of having uh, Abe Lucas back at that right tackle spot, and how did he kind of announce it to you guys that, that he was planning to come back rather than uh, pursue uh, the NFL? Yeah, I mean, it's nice having the best tackle or the best tackle in the Pac-12 come back, I and mean, that's, that's for sure. Um, I mean, if you don't, Abe doesn't have any social media, he's not into announcements or limelight or anything. So I got just texted him one day and I was like, so what you doing? He's like, oh, I'm coming back. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. 
And then, like, a week later, I saw all you guys on Twitter, and you're like, we don't know if Abe Lucas is coming back. And I, I was joking with Bobby, and I was like, should I just uh, at the you and be like, yeah, he's coming back? <laughs> you should have done it next time. Yeah. Um, go over with Bobby on that one. <laughs> cut. Can you can you talk a little bit about the uh, the chemistry so far with uh, Jared Garantano back there at quarterback and, and how he's kind of uh, transitioned into what you guys are doing? Yeah, I mean he's obviously a very experienced quarterback. Um, it's a hard it's a hard offense to pick up for his first year, so I think he's done well so far. Um, I'm trying to ease his transition as much as I can, trying to handle um, as much as I do with our line, just trying to keep him clean, let him do what he does. Um, I've been impressed with what he's been doing so far. I think he has good chemistry. Um, with the team that he's been building. So pretty happy with Jared so far. And then uh, last one for me, what's your go-to uh, uh, order at In-N-Out Burger? Um, so we don't, I only actually really go whenever we go to travel down to Cal or I guess when we're at the go to the bowl games. But so whenever we go, we kind of do some fat things and we, <laughs> I think we get like quads and quad and animal fries and it all. So go pretty heavy when we go. I think all of us go is no line. So yeah. Do you like uh, miners in Yakima? I mean, I, I think I'd be crucified if I said I did. So, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. All That's right, Neil, thank you. Let's see what uh, Mr. Zach Armstrong has to say. Hey, Brian, how's it going? Good, how are you, Zach? Good. Um, can you just talk a little bit about how uh, Jernius is doing behind you at center as a young freshman coming in and working with the second team? Yeah, yeah. Um, Janias has done really well. Um, he's been watching extra film with me. I'm very proud of him from the mental aspect of the game so far. Um, I think that's the most difficult aspect of transitioning to college as a center, uh, more so than the physical aspect of it right away, because he is a very physically talented kid. I mean, he's um, he's a lot further ahead than I was at that age. Um, I think just honing in the mental aspect over the sp spring ball, fall camp, um, he's going to be really good. Um, wherever he gets his shot to go. And outside of you now being a starter and veteran, uh, just how much is this spring ball different than spring balls you've gone through in the past at WSU? Yeah, I mean, I'd say it's just trying not to get complacent at this point, just keep excelling, just keep building on. Um, we're not content with what we had last year, so in any aspect. So, I mean, we just got to, keep elevating it as a O-line and as an offense. So just really picking it up and not getting complacent, I'd say would be our biggest challenge for this uh, spring ball. Thank you. I uh, missed one question. What is the most random or interesting conspiracy theory or myth that you have heard? Hmm. I heard some pretty good conspiracy theories with the whole COVID thing going on, but don't want to talk about those. So, okay. Um, I don't know. I don't really read any um, conspiracy theories that would not be related to real life. So I'm not sure. All right. Well, thank you for your time, Brian Green. We look forward to seeing you scrimmage on Saturday. Thank you, Coach. All right. Please uh, stand by for our next contestant.